not saying he or anybody else that's attached to this indictment did it. But the feds, they know when to come in and crush a dreams because... What's up everybody, it's your girl Beoctavia and I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, thank y'all for all the love that y'all been spreading on my channel. And this birthday month has been starting off amazing, let me just say that. Like I said, if you do not know me, I am from Washington, D.C. Um, and I am also an entrepreneur. I am happy to say and I am locking it in. Be The Brand will be back very soon. I definitely want to have my merch out before my birthday. I want to do a video dedicated to my merch so that y'all know what the message is behind my brand. What I believe in, the ethics of being alive, staying alive, having a good life, things like that. So, today I want to talk about Fetty Wap. I want to talk about why he is even in the news and it's not about music. I want to get into all of that and I also want to put my thoughts on it. My thoughts, concerns, and things like that will be towards the end of the video. So make sure that you stay tuned from start to finish so that you can have something to say in the comments. Give me your feedback. I need it now. <laughs> so Fetty Wap who is 30 years old, was arrested Thursday night of October 28th of this year. So this was just a little minute ago. And he was arrested by the FBI on federal drug charges. Willie Maxwell, aka Fetty Wap, had a virtual hearing the next day on October 29th where he pleaded not guilty to all of these charges and in that hearing he was ordered to be held without a bail. He was arrested arrested at City Fields in Queens, New York uh, where the Rolling Loud Music Festival was being held. He was set to take the stage and, and perform songs from his new album, I believe it's titled Butterfly that is dedicated to his daughter that recently passed away and i ain't gonna lie that made me mad and it's a lot of scenarios where these police like the feds they know when to come in and crush a nigga dreams because they do this to a lot of artists they did this to fetty wap he was not able to perform um they did this to chef g i believe chef g is still locked up they did this to who else did they do this to polo g and them i don't know but the the whole point is man do the feds know when to come in they could have at least let the nigga get his moment like he didn't have for a long time let him get his moment and perform and then snatch him up you know right after if you if you want to do that but the the feds don't care about none of that to them in my eyes it's like they view the artist as artists as a hobby but they doing all this bad shit right and i'm gonna get into that looking at this headline made me feel disappointed i'm not saying he or anybody else that's attached to this indictment did it but although i am disappointed i'm not really surprised just like a lot of people rapping and singing that might be their dream like the police i think that that's just their occupation that's just their hobby this be a lot of niggas dream right but at the same time it's hard for a dude from the streets not to to resort to old measures to get money when his dream isn't paying the bills and i feel like this is the downfall or demise of a lot of dudes like i'm telling you or like i said i'm not saying he did it right i'm not saying none of them did it i'm gonna get into what the feds are alleging against these guys because it's not just fetty wap he is in their eyes involved in this drug thing this drug group or whatever but i feel like what's going on with him as far as you gotta take into account 
his status in the game. You got to take into account, yes, what he's achieved, but what have you done lately? Yes, he did do an album, but in between time and throughout, what, five or six years that we can say, it's been a lot of women in and out of his life. He has produced a lot of children, but the music kind of slowed down and it really shouldn't have, you know? It's like some artists they have this big huge hit and it's like they cannot reach the same success with other songs which is kind of sad but like i said he was entertaining a lot of women during that time he could have been figuring out his voice his new sound if he want a new sound or stick to the sound that you had but just make other hits make big hits but that was not happening in my opinion but let's get into what the feds are alleging fetty wap and five other people including a new jersey correctional officer has been charged in this case they are all accused of running what prosecutors are calling a multi-million dollar bi-coastal drug distribution organization. The indictment also states the organization allegedly ran from June of 2019 to June of 2020, which isn't that long, but it became a multi-million dollar situation as the feds are saying the feds also allege that the defendants used the postal service to transport drugs among other ways five of the six defendants are also being accused of using firearms obtained illegally to protect their drug organization all defendants face a maximum of life in prison with evidence from a search warrant that was executed, the feds collected roughly $1.5 million in cash, 16 kilograms of coke, 2 kilograms of heroin, quite a few fentanyl pills, 2 handguns, a rifle, a pistol, and ammunition for all, right? Okay, so, you know... I'm not going to say that I saw this coming, but I'm going to say that I'm not surprised. Now, I remember a time when I was following Fetty Wap, right? I was following him on Instagram. I was seeing him doing the bikes and shit like that, which is fine. You can have an actual hobby and shit like that. But I did see him posted in the hood quite a lot. I'm not saying that's evidence of him doing wrong, but I'm saying that's evidence of him being in the wrong areas, around people that's not as talented as him, you know, around people that live a certain lifestyle. And if you're not involved in it, you should not be around it. You know, you could always be involved with your childhood friends or your neighborhood friends and things like that, but... To be who he was and to keep seeing him on this block, him on that block. I was like, I mean, you should be posting that you in the studio. That's all I really want to see from an artist. I don't want to see you in the hood doing this and that. I don't want to see no downtime where you doing shit like that, you know, because anything can happen to you. You have to protect yourself. It's nothing that you have to prove after surviving such a dangerous neighborhood or these dangerous neighborhoods i wouldn't be there all the time so that is one huge thing among you know him seeming like he really wasn't working hard enough to be on top to stay on top i just unfollowed him you know what i'm saying i i got the fuck up off of that because i don't want to follow people like that I don't want to just keep saying that because you could be a regular nigga for all that. You know what I'm saying? You already climbed and escaped certain things. You don't have to go backwards. To have a hobby of doing the little bikes and shit, you can do that shit. Lil Uzi do that. Meek Mill and them do that. But to always be in the hood and shit, you're not in the studio. You're not showing us that you're in the studio. Like, come on now. I don't want to see it. 
I'm not here for it. Especially him being older. He wasn't 30, but he damn sure was hitting on it. You know what I'm saying? To be to be 30 now and to know that you still really ain't out of the mentality. To see that you really haven't grown as a man. To have all them damn kids. And for a long time, it was this baby mother coming out saying he wasn't doing shit. That baby mother coming out saying he wasn't doing shit. Masika coming out saying he wasn't doing shit. He still ain't doing shit. Like, ugh. Too many women. Too much time has passed. And now look what's at your feet. Now look what the, what the fuck you gotta deal with. Come on now. I been knew that the money from Hey What's Up Hello then ran out. I already knew that. I don't know if he saw it coming, but I did. A lot of artists need to see that shit coming. Your first hit is important, but at the same time, you got to keep that shit going. It's really no time for you to keep partying and keep entertaining this one and that one. You got a career to maintain. And I don't think he did a good job at that. I don't want to see nobody who got talent in this position. But that is where men, young men, almost 30 or 30 or even a little bit older, they meet their demise because it's like, you got to realize not a lot of people can do what you do. Not a lot of people can produce music, good music, music that's worthy of listening to, music that's worthy of being a hit. You did that, and you got to keep doing that. You should never just get used to the success of one song or a couple songs or a certain era, you know? You should never just get used to that type of popularity, and you getting so used to it that you're not working. It's not good. Mm-mm. And that's what's going to make you lose fans in turn. Like, your first hit is important. But don't live off that for too long. And that's basically the lesson of this, this whole situation. I hope he figure it out. Because he got too many goddamn kids for him to be in jail and facing life. And going through this. I hope he figures it out. He is out on bail now, you know, on five, what is it, a half a million dollar bail. He didn't have to pay the whole thing, we all know that, but at the same time, okay, he's out. So, spend time with your kids while you got time, because I don't know with anybody. It's like, I don't know what you did and what you didn't do, right? Hopefully, you figure it out. For your sake, for your kids' sake, I don't care about no woman that's in, your, in or out your life. His love life is a mess. When will some men realize that you got to put that shit on pause and really handle what you need to handle? Really. Get your nose out of the bitch's ass is what I'm saying. Okay? Take your nose out of her ass for a second Come up for air and realize you need to see your kids. You need to be there while you can now. And it's not like he's always been super busy and doing this and doing that. Yeah, he had his time. But it's like for you not to be a consistent parent, for you not to be there physically and only be there in spirit and shit like that. Like, and, and I ain't gonna talk shit about him. You know what I'm saying? Like, God bless his daughter. God bless his child's mother that he wasn't supporting for a few years. But you need to make that up by being in your other kids' lives. And that's what I will say about him. You know, you gotta get from around them people that, yeah, you may love and they may love you, but they're going to take you down because that's all they know how to do. But you know how to do more than that. Fetty Wap, get it together. It's your girl, B. Octavia. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in to yet another video, and I will see y'all in my next one.